How's it going, fam? It's Don here from the Peggy and Don channel. Uh, today I want to bring to you uh, something that's been a, a requested uh, part of our Prepper channel, and that is my EDC-10. Um, for those of y'all who are unfamiliar with what it is, an EDC-10 stands for Everyday Carry, but it's basically something that you keep with you to uh, get you out of certain sticky situations. Now, most of the EDC-10 that you will see on, uh, find on YouTube and other prepper channels is placed inside of an Altoids 10. It's a very good concept. It's small, it fits easily in your pocket, and it's actually very strong and sturdy. Uh, the problem with this for me is I'm a man of a certain age and a certain size. Uh, when I tried to put my Altoids 10 EDC kit together, um, the contact information that was on the inside of the lid was too small for me to read, and a lot of the items that I had to uh, use uh, for this tin was just too small for the, I have, I have pretty decent sized hands and they were just too small for my hands. Um, so I had to get a little bit bigger. What I went with was this four by three and a half inch tin that I found on Amazon. It is a bit larger, but it still fits in my pocket. It's basically the same size as my wallet. So I went with the, uh, the larger, four by three and a half inch ten. Uh, one of the things they, uh, all the preppers want to show you when they open the EDC 10 is that it passes the upside down test. So here are my items inside there with my contact information and stuff like that. And here are my items. Uh, when I turn it upside down, <laughs> none of the items fall out. I don't really understand the uh, importance of the upside down test, but I made sure I followed the uh, protocols on here. I used some magnet force, little tiny magnets that I got from Menards and some Velcro for some of the other items and I'm going to go over every item that's in my EDC-10. You see what I'm saying here, I, got, I was able to print the contact information a little bit larger which allows me to see it easier because of my uh, poor vision as I, get, as I get up in age. You just have to accept when you're getting older. And so now I have a pretty big size 12, font, 12 point font. Uh, for all of my emergency contacts right here on the inside of the lid and I can read this easily with my little flashlight that's part of my items and uh, in any situation so I'm glad to have this larger tin. That's why I chose a larger tin. If you want to try to find some great videos for the smaller tin, the, uh, I got my ideas for some of my items from the Urban Prepper and I'll have a link to his channel in the description. He got some great ones for the smaller tins. But for somebody my age or somebody who has the same kind of dimensions that I have, um, I am going to recommend a four by three and a half inch tin that you can get from like Amazon or a local hobby shop. So let's see what's on the inside of my tin. So when you first open it up, on the top, on the inside of the lid, I have taped some important contact information. Um, you want to have like insurance phone numbers, your roadside assistance, and your emergency contacts. Now, I know you can find that stuff on your phone, but what do you do if your phone is dead? Or you lose your phone, or you drop your phone in a lake when you're on vacation? How many phone numbers do you have memorized right now? How many people can you call in emergency if you were to lose your phone? I know me personally, I know my own number and I have Peggy's number memorized and that is honestly it. I realize that is sad, but that is honestly it. So on my 10, I have my, some of my kids information, some local friends and coworkers, that kind of thing that I can depend on. People with actual vehicles and stuff like that who've been able, who've shown they've been able to help me out in a situation. You want to pick your emergency contacts carefully, but that's very important to have. Um, because we depend too much on phones these days. So the first thing I pull out, of course, is just sitting on top of my, uh, I call it a first aid kit, but it's just an alcohol wipe and two band-aids. But hey, in a cut or situation, this could really come in handy. Place that here. Now the first item might get a few laughs from the uh, hardcore EGC people out there, but I can explain. The first item I'm going to pull out is a pair of tweezers. <laughs> Now, the reason for the tweezers is some of these items are still, even though this is a larger tin, some of these items are still very small for my large hands to grasp. So, I need to be able to reach in and pull these items out, and my tweezers actually help me out. Tweezers are also good first aid item to have for stuff like splinters and things like that. 
So the first thing I pull out is my tweezers. Uh, the tweezers hold me in place my little flashlight. Uh, like a lot of people are so dependent on their cell phone for having a flashlight. But like I said, your cell phone may not always be available. This is the item I got from Amazon. You can get five of them for like eight bucks. Um, it's a push button that you, if you want to just hold it. And it's a very good light. It actually has pretty good distance on it. Or you can just slide the little switch backwards to leave the light on. So what you won't have to hold it. You can just hang it inside your car hood if you're trying to make repairs in the middle of the night on the side of the road. So this is a nice little dandy item to have in your EDC-10. Place that right here. Next item is, I'm going to use my tweezers to pull it out. I have attached with Velcro on the inside of my tin is this six inch cable. Let me move this stuff back in place. Okay. I have a six inch phone cable specifically for my phone. This is a USB-C because I have an Android phone. Uh, when you're using a phone power bank, like I said, we depend too much on our phone, but it's still nice to have and you want to be able to charge it up if necessary. This is recommended for use with power banks. They recommend that you use a six inch cable. Um, in some of the EDC 10, you see one inch cables and stuff like that. I wanted something that's a little more flexible, a little more distance, easier to handle because of my size. So that's why I have this. On the front, secured by Velcro, is my own little private pharmacy. I have a few antacid pills, I have a few uh, pain pills, and I also have some 325 milligram aspirin. Um, people are under the idea that 81 milligram aspirins are the one you take um, in case you are feeling chest pains or, or suspect you may be having a heart attack, but it's actually the 325 milligrams that, can have the, that has the uh, anti-blood clotting agent that can help save your life in case you are having a cardiac arrest. Um, these pills are specifically the ones I chose for myself. Um, I glued some, attached some Velcro to the bottom and attached it to the inside of the tin there. But these items are things that I found that I want to have with me all the time. You may have some other items like your own personal medication or maybe some nitroglycerin pills or something like that. Whatever you, Or allergy pills. So whatever you decide you want to have with you, you might want to try to include that somewhere in your EDC-10. Then I have here, this is a multi-tool that I got from Bass Pro Shop. Um, there are some smaller ones available. If you were trying to put, place it into an All Toys 10, if you were trying to use an uh, All Toys 10 for ADC, this might be a little too big. This is one of the main reasons why I wanted a bigger EDC 10. I can use this very easily. I have no problem using this in my hand. It has pliers. It has pliers on it. It has screwdrivers. It has uh, scissors. It has a blade. And it has scissors, spring-loaded scissors that I've used several times already since I put my little EDC kit together. And like I said, it might be a little too big for the Altoids 10, but it fits great inside my... Uh, larger EDC-10. It is secured by some magnet force magnets that I have glued to the inside of the tin. Um, those little flat magnets, I bought those at Menards. Menards is a little uh, home improvement and tool shop here in the Missouri area, but you can probably find them anywhere. If I could find a link to, a, a link to uh, an online purchasing site, I'll include that in the description. Another item that I have here is a pen. Everybody may need a pen in a certain situation. This is a telescopic pen that I got from Amazon. Um, it works very nicely. It actually fits in my hand very well, and it writes very well, too. This is a bit of a splurge item, but it works very well, and I like having it around. My next item is a lighter. There are, this is the Big Mini. Now, there are smaller uh, ways of starting a fire, like little uh, matches or something like that. But this fits. It works for me. Even though it's kind of small, I'm able to light it every time first strike. 
make sure I keep this filled up. And there's so many reasons why you want to be able to have a fire in an emergency situation. So this has to be a vital part of my EDC kit. Over here, I have some Gorilla Tape rolled around a one and a half inch screw. This is one inch of Gorilla Tape, about 11 inches long, wrapped around a one and a half inch screw. Gorilla Tape has so many uses. One of my most common uses, though, one of the things I, I would think about when I added it to my EDC tin is I can use this to repair uh, radiator hoses. If you get a cut in your radiator hose, your car will overheat quickly. You can use Gorilla Tape to repair most cuts in your radiator hose. And you can get yourself back on the road, continue your travels. Final item in here, also attached with Velcro, is a 64 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, on my hard drive, I'm going to have some vital records, um, maybe some birth certificates, um, marriage licenses, and other videos and images that I want to make sure I keep with me at all times in case I lose or my computer is destroyed. There's a lot of stuff on my computer that I want to have. This is not really a life-saving item. This is a convenience or a comfort item that makes me feel good knowing that I have this with me at all times in case there's a problem I can no longer get to my computer or my computer just suddenly dies on me before I have a chance to pull information off of it. And those are the items inside my EDC tin. Everything in there is items that I've chosen. You may choose different items for your EDC tin. So that's about it. Um, like I said, this EDC tin is a very important part of any prepper's uh, repertoire. Uh, it gets you out of a lot of sticky situations. And even though it's not meant to be for like always for life-saving purposes, a couple of the items here can actually... Uh, help you in a very very tough spot especially like the uh your nitroglycerin pills if you have them or your aspirin and stuff like that fire can be life-saving that kind of deal getting yourself home can be a life-saving uh step first aid can be a life-saving step so yes even though it's not meant entirely for only life-saving purposes i i would highly recommend that you get an edc kit together EDC, t EDC kits are personalized. The items in my kit are items that I chose. There are a lot of items that you may feel like don't need to be in here. And there's some items that you feel should definitely be in here that, that's not included in my kit. You got to work together. It's like playing a little uh, Prepper Tetris. I think that's what Urban Prepper called it. He called it Prepper Tetris, trying to get as many useful items inside your EDC tin. But... Because of our dependence on phones, it's important to have uh, at least the contact information and maybe a couple aspirin in there, a means to start a fire, some tools, um, some Gorilla Tape, or I think should be included in just about every prepper's pantry. Maybe you can leave off the pen or the hard driver or even the tweezers if you don't feel they're necessary. That's about all I have. I just want to give you some ideas of how to start your EDC-10. I've said it already, EDC tins or uh, EDC kits are extremely important. You never really know how much you need one until you need one. So try to put something together that you can always keep with you at all times. That's about all I have again. And uh, from Peggy and myself, I just want to say have a great day and uh, stay prepared. Oh, and go out there and do something good for yourself <laughs> and for others as well. Y'all have a good one, fam. Peace. Be real.